What's up guys, it's Alex from AP, and today I'll be showing you my new 3D printer. I've been looking into 3D printers for a while now, and I've finally decided to buy one. These machines can make complex parts at a low cost, which makes them the perfect prototyping machine for me. Most 3D printers come disassembled in the box, so first thing I need to do is get it assembled. Once the printer is out of the box and unwrapped, the Z-axis assembly needs to be bolted to the base. Small T-brackets need to be added on each side to reduce any possible vibration. Since this printer is very high, I will probably add some stabilization bars to the top to remove any play. On this model, the screen needs to be turned so it faces the front of the printer. Once all that is done, the last part to assemble is the roll holder that will hold the material so it can be fed into the machine. This printer is an Anycubic Chiron. I decided to go with this particular model because it has a huge printing area of 15 inches by 15 inches by 15 inches. You can use it to print big parts or multiple small parts at the same time. Multiple materials can be printed with this machine from PLA, which is a plastic made to print aesthetic non-structural parts, to ABS, which is used for more structural or durable parts. A 3D printer works by feeding a plastic filament into a heated nozzle that melts it and applies it to the bed that is also heated to ensure that plastic sticks to it. As the plastic is applied, the head moves up layer by layer and creates your 3D model. Before I can start printing, I need to make sure that the bed is level with the printer head. This will ensure a good quality print. This particular machine has a noto level function that uses a sensor placed on the print head. This sensor will probe the bed and record the specific distance between the end of the nozzle and the top of the printer bed. Once the bed has been probed, each particular area of the bed can be adjusted on the display. The machine comes with a demo program that will print a target shape on the bed that will then be used to fine tune the height. The head should be as close as possible so that the plastic is being squeezed between the bed and nozzle. The plastic should stick to the bed which means you should not be able to move it when touching it with your finger. Okay, so now that everything is adjusted, I think it's time to print 
my first part. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you guys the program and what parts I want to print first. Okay, so the program I'm going to be using to create the 3D printer program is Ultimaker Cura. So this is a free program you can download online. I'm going to take my STL file and drag it into the program. So this is actually going to be two parts. So I have my AP logo here and I also have a base. Here it is so that I can put these two parts together. Once they're in the program, I can select them and move them around like this and have a top view. So I'll have the base. Uh, if you're printing more than one part, I recommend you put them close together. Uh, that way it'll go faster because the printer won't have to move as much. So these are the actual parts. And now the print settings. If you go on the top here and click, you have the default settings. So first thing is the actual profile. So you have three default settings, which is the thickness of each layer. Uh, the infill is what percentage of the part is going to be full. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click slice here. This is what this is going to create uh, the G code. And here it is. So like I said, uh, things can be pretty long. So since I want it to be, have a really nice finish, we have one day and three hours. So this is very long. Uh, this is one of the um, disadvantages, if you want, of this printer, since it's very big, uh, it's not as stable as the smaller ones. Uh, so it won't go as fast. Uh, what we can do is go in custom, uh, speed and then see we're at 50 millimeters per second. Uh, PLA can be printed uh, pretty faster than that but since I wanted a high quality uh, this is why it's taking that long. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do here since it's just too long uh, I'm going to go to normal which is 0.2 uh, I'm going to discard the changes because I want to go back to standard infill. Here, I'm going to go 10% because it's not structural. And retry this. So it should still be high, but it should have gone down quite a bit. So yeah, 13 hours. So we went from originally we had uh, like 27 hours and we cut that in half uh, just by going 2.2 which is actually the double uh, the thickness so that makes sense and here I'm just gonna go bump that up to 55 12 hours once we're good I'm gonna go save the program uh, you can actually save it on the computer and plug your computer directly to the printer uh, or in my case since the computer is quite far i'm going to be using the sd card so saving the program on the card and then putting the card in the printer i'm going to save the program put it in the printer and start it up see what results we can get So this is a two piece, you have the logo comes in here like this. I'm very happy with the quality of the print. 
I can't wait to get to the computer and start drawing up some parts. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.